the parts that we um, we're, we're going here through this thing uh -huh. so we can have So this week we went to the island of Savai'i, which is the biggest island of Samoa, and we got to do a lot of things that were really kind of showing in some of the important aspects of Samoan legends and Samoan culture. So we got to go to a home where there are siapo makers, or tapa as they're called in Fiji, which is basically like these paintings that are made from tree bark. And so we got to watch a demonstration of how it's made and the process that goes into it. And it's a very long, difficult process. It was really, really cool to see how much work it takes to make this traditional piece. It also sometimes is using clothing and stuff. So other things that we did really were to kind of see these important historical sites to like Samoan legends and Samoan beliefs so we went to this cave where it is like said that a goddess went and healed and there was a few other things we went to see like a sacred tree and there's like a footprint from a demigod as well like a giant footprint um so we just were able to kind of get more of a look into like Samoa's past before colonization kind of and um the things that they used to believe or like they still believe and how it's kind of changed but it's still valued you know based on like christianity because with that also we saw um different churches that have been ruined one was from a uh tropical well, like cyclone and we also went to these lava fields where that one was destroyed by a volcano that erupted in like the early 1900s and that was also very cool to see kind of how that it was still like green and growing and flourishing even though like lava had like wiped out all of the life that was in this area so, so to see it thriving again was very special and it just shows that like you know the world can bounce back even after human impact so and there was like other things that we got to see and we were staying in beach falles that was just like open traditional Samoan falles right on the beach so you just we just got to go to sleep with the sounds of the ocean and we saw a whale one night um during the sunset and that was really cool in the cave that we went to me and a few other people just decided to go walk through it without knowing where it went at all like one of the openings we didn't know where, where we were going and what we would find and we were crouching the whole time. This island also had some very beautiful snorkeling spots and it was just another way for us to appreciate Samoa and this other island that's more traditional and more laid back than Apollo the island we had been staying on the whole time. So I really really loved going to Savai'i and seeing all of its beauty and what it had to offer.